So the main event was the Fatal Five Way, Karrion Cross, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Johnny Gargano, and Pete Dunne. So the wrestlers were great wrestlers. They Who performed they well. They are great. Tons wrestlers. of great spots. They looked awesome. That's all good. well and good. But well, here's good, the deal with this match good, to me, Dave. Good, good. Um, I thought the layout was good. Um, now, well, hold on. Let me get okay. into this. Okay. Let me talk about this layout. This is the story of the match, everybody. Everybody Karrion, beats up Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross then he comes back and beats everybody. Hold up. on. Karrion Cross is the champion, and he is unbeatable. Okay. Every time he got in the ring, he single-handedly destroyed everybody else in the ring. So they would get rid of him, and then the remaining guys would do spots, and then he would come back, and he would single-handedly kill everybody again. They got rid of him a second time with a powerbomb through a table. Except the table didn't break. Well, sure, but they, they did their spots, and then he came back again. He single-handedly killed everybody, and then he tapped out Kyle O'Reilly, as Kyle O'Reilly had Adam Cole in a submission he choked out Kyle O'Reilly and he won. Okay, so I like I like I like the finish. Well, here's the point. But the wrestling, a- the wrestling in this match was like everyone did an excellent job with the wrestling. But we got another Roman Reigns here. When this match was over, he I know, I know. stacked four dudes like cordwood and left them all for dead. Who is next for Karrion Cross? Not I only know. that, when you're going to do a five-way, okay, fine. You're going to do a five-way, and Karrion Cross is going to be by far the best guy. The rest of you are just like, whatever, okay? At the very least, the other portion of the match should be, well, there's four other guys in here. Let's do something so that when NXT TV comes on Tuesday, I'm like, well, now I want to see what happens with like this guy and this guy, or I want to see what's they coming did, next they, for they whatever. Did, they did stuff with Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. Uh, dude, really I saw that with a blow off. What? What you mean? Oh, you mean the blow off? Yeah, but they the they, feud. But they would. But they were yelling at each other in the hospital. That was very clear that they were coming back for more. Dave, that's all well and good, and I love Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. But dude, I've seen this feud. I've been seeing this feud for like a decade now. I saw the feud blown off in a match. I well, know yeah, they were yelling at each other, other in other companies. This yeah. is the problem with NXT right now. It's all the same stuff with the same guys. I sort of and we've got a day. champion like Roman Reigns here on this show now that who is next for Karrion Cross? Who are they going to try to convince me could beat this guy? Because he beat all four of their top stars. They called this the most star-studded match in NXT TakeOver history. He He's destroyed all four of them, and he destroyed Finn Balor. So now what? I have no that idea. That was my takeaway watching this. As my a take- fan, I want a reason to tune in Tuesday and find out look, what's next. I watched well, his show and it well, was like well, they, the, just, the end of the series. Yeah. Well, the one thing that I, that I didn't like was that in 26 minutes, I would have thought that there would be I, there would be points in the match where I'd be going, "That's the finish," and I never thought that w- the finish was the finish until the actual finish. No, because they like, basically told you leading up to the match that Karrion Cross is unbeatable. And that all of yeah, these guys cannot beat them, and no one did anything to convince okay, you that they okay, could beat him. Okay, but the point is, is that the thing about the match is that they didn't have to beat him; they could beat each other, and there was never a point where they got something dramatic enough where the fans, because there was never that point where the fans in the in the stands got the impression or were acting like like Kyle Kyle. Uh, O'Reilly is going to beat Adam Cole or Johnny Gargano is going to be, you know what I mean? They got their move on, but there was always guys that were up that were going to break it up. I mean, there's got to be those points where everyone's brawling or they're outside or they're incapacitated and somebody's got somebody in submission that's in the ring and they've got to crawl to the ropes, but something, or they do a great finisher and you think it's going to be the fall. I mean, like there's, there should be three or four points in the match where you think that, okay, we know they're not going to beat Karrion Cross, and 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 they never did. Okay, but but maybe we're going to get a title change, and they're going to screw Karrion Cross by having him lose the title without losing. And they didn't even do that. You know, I mean, there was never that point where I was going like, oh wow, you know, because um, I guess the other, one, you know, I never thought Pete Dunne could win. I never thought Gargano could win. I thought Adam Cole could win going in, but they never put in a situation where where he really could. And so it was just kind of like, you know, it 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 was, it was really... twenty six minutes of great spots, but it was missing what you need to have a great main event 
and a great was, main it, event that leads to something it, else. It wasn't a killer main event, no. It was a very it was it was a very good main event, a very well wrestled match, but no. Um, but I mean, like just as a comparison, like with um, the Orange Cassidy match, there were spots like like there are spots in in the Orange Cassidy match with Omega and and Pac, and there were a lot of them that were dramatic spots where the crowd's going crazy, and you never had that in this match. You had people watching the 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 finger break spot was really cool in the choke. I like that. Um, but he still won with the choke after his fingers were broken. So there you go. That's the main event of the show, everybody. And it was a good takeover. It was not one of the best takeovers, but uh, there was nothing that I would say was bad on the show. No. Nah. But several several matches that they would have fit in onto an average NXT television show. Every one of them except the main event. The main event would have been a great television match. The other ones would have not even been... The six-man would have been a nice TV main event. But but not anything that anyone would have said was, like, out of the ordinary. And the other ones would have been television matches. That's all. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.